everyone, maupay nga aga ha inyo nga tanan. I know you are all excited about your our tour for today, but first let me introduce myself. I am John Michael Jola and I am your tour guide for today. On behalf of you and Tra Tagum Travel and Tours, we will let your mind drift to the most beautiful places in Eastern Visayas. First, Please be mindful of all your behaviors and always ensure that you wear your face mask and bring sanitizer as part of your hygiene. If you're not feeling well, we have here our first aid kit. Please always pay attention to our instruction and be conscious of the time so we can maximize our tour. Third, please be responsible of all your trash and lastly, don't forget to smile and enjoy your trip. Today, September 11 and for our time check it's already 7 a.m. in the morning. Please anchor your time with us so we won't have conflicts in our schedule. Okay, tourists, I hope you will enjoy your tour here in Eastern Visayas. And now, we will bring you to the most beautiful region in the Philippines, Eastern Visayas. At day 1, at 5 a.m. at the morning, we proceed to the province of Biliran, the Nasunugan Watchtower Ruins. The Nasunugan Watchtower Ruins is a Spanish structure made of stone blocks. At 1 p.m. in the afternoon, we proceed to the Sambawan Island. Sambawan Island is located 5 km on the west coast of Maripipi Municipality, south of the Summer Sea, is fast becoming the most visited attraction by the tourists. The semi curved beach with soaring rock formations covered with green grass as backdrop to create a double of fantasy that you are entering another dimension. Again. So the day 2, at 7 a.m. in the morning, we proceed to the Bagumbong Falls. Multiple Falls is a single tired waterfall with its cascading water falling from some 30 feet turned into two by a boulder. This waterfall is rare, rarely on travelers list and during my visit it was only me and my giggles as well as the cascades of the water making lovely music in the air. At 2 p.m. in the afternoon, we proceed to the Kinaraha Cascades. The sulfurous water of Kinaraha Cascades provide natu natural swimming pools and water slides. For an island size, there's surprisingly an exhaustible number of waterfalls, thanks to the abundance of rainfalls and steep mountain slopes. In the day 3, we proceed to the province of Southern Leyte, the Napantau Fish Sanctuary. Located at a legal point in Southern Leyte at the Napant Napantau Fish Sanctuary was once of the traditional fishing ground because of the main reef which local calls Bateria. Teams with commercially important reefs, fishes, and pelagics, it was established as a marine protected area in 1996. Yeah. Okay tourists, here are some of the festival and food delicacies.